Hey guys, it's uh, Joe Lyons from The Automator with Isaiah's, and, and we were um, from The Automator. I shouldn't say it like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We were uh, we were working on this really cool script that we're going to be sharing here at today's webinar um, on Notepad Plus Plus. But anyway, he was doing some some few uh, other f polishing up on some stuff. And once you share what the the thing, the example you had found, then your realization, you know, like yeah, a, a, so, so basically the context is that we're going to be grabbing some text from the user uh, editor. It doesn't matter where you're at. And that's the, that's the key problem here uh, because some editors make it easier for you to grab the information like notepad plus plus has some ways that you can get it and other editors as well. But what happens if you're in an edit control that you don't have ways to grab the information easily. We wanted so, a general approach. Right. right. So we wanted an approach that should work 99% uh, yeah. of the time, of course, things can fail, but 99% of the time. And uh, in one of the, uh, so I have my own implementation of that, but I wanted to kind of like update it because I wrote that 10 years ago when I didn't know how auto hot key worked at that time. So I decided, let me do it again. Let me see if I could do a little bit more tweaks. And one of the things that I was looking for is how do I get the selected text from the focused windows using the native Win32 API? Now, here's the deal. You know that our hotkey is written for the Windows 32 API. So if you don't know this, our hotkey is basically um, an easy way for you to use the Windows 32 API. That's yeah, right. for it. Right. right. So, so that's that's basically what auto hotkey is now. And I'm going to show you a real example of when you will see the difference on it. Right. Uh, uh, basically, he says, like, OK, I want to get this thing. Blah, blah, blah. And the guy says, like, yeah, there is a way of doing that, but it is difficult to implement correctly. And that's the key phrase here. It's difficult. It's not easy, though. So he says, like, yeah, you could do this. And that might not work, blah, blah, blah. Now, he says, like, this is the easier way. So simply misuse the get info points so I could get the handle of the target window. So look at all this code that he has to do just to get the handle of the window. In my case, so when I went ahead and did that, uh, the, the part that has to do with that is this come object create here. And that I save it into a PWB that already has the handle so i don't have to, access to worry. It. so i don't have i don't have to worry about getting the handle this object by itself creates the com object and you would say like well you're cheating because you're using a com object not the win32 i know here's the thing the second part is uh yeah so the next thing we're going to do is the send input function which is part of the win32 api and now for you to do that, okay, so here's the relevant part. You're going to use the send input command and you're going to send some variables to it. And one of the variables is this one here, which you would have to fill out because it's a structure, right? And that's in and, and that you would have to do it for each letter you do. Each and in, yeah, so, so in this case for each character, right? So in this case, we are sending that for the letter V, right? Now, if you have many keys, you would have to fill them out very often. Yes, you have to fill that out for uh, some of them, um, for all of them, actually, and then call your send input. Now, in our case, we just had to use the same send input, but I just fill out all the keys that I want to send one after the other. And this is the thing. Auto hotkey handles all those structures and filling out those things that are kind of like complex and stuff. I just had to do one liner for the whole string while he would have to do all these lines for one letter, if I'm understanding correctly, because maybe I, I'm missing something here. But basically, he had to do all that for the letter V that he wanted to send. Um, in which case, for me, I just had to send the whole string of things that I want to do. And auto hotkey handles all this part for me. Now, the funny thing what actually killed me is when he said, like, that wasn't so bad, was it? And I was like, that was atrocious, man. That was completely like that. That was not easy. And you haven't finished 
because later on you have to open the clipboard and do some things in here and he's saying like you know now we just have to take a peek at what was inside the clipboard and you know the clipboard can hold multiple representations of the same thing which is something that you might be familiar with that you have the text representation but you have the um, image representation of something so for example if you try this you can go to excel select multiple rows copy them if you go to for example whatsapp and you paste there what you're going to get is an image if you go to notepad and you paste there what you're going to get is actually text the, it's right. the same thing so you grab the same thing from from a program but the represent what you get pasted it depends on the application that can receive it i cannot it receive images right right. the copy will take multiple versions of story in the clipboard oh, the in different right. ways and then depending on the program you're in when you paste it automatically somehow chooses which one, one to use. which one is yeah. going to use um and well that's what he's talking about in there yeah. and usually when you have to access the clipboard directly if you have ever tried to do that with using the dll calls to actually to access the clipboard directly instead of the auto hot key right. commands yeah uh, it can be extremely oh. tricky it's a whole thing we, and that's we, the reason i worked on a, a program for for storing html and pasting it and creating it and stuff and and wow, that is a yeah. nightmare it yeah. is you have to know what you're doing in there and uh you know so basically all of that just saying yeah. he's saying like Win32 programming can be a bit daunting, yeah. but after a while, it's, it's, it's still daunting. It's, it's, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so that's hilarious. It's like, it doesn't say, matter like what you right? Yeah, when you do it long enough, okay, you don't feel quite as bad, but it's still tough. Um, right, it is. Now, now the, someone, if they looked at our solution, like, well, yours, yours isn't right, because this one is optimized and will work one ten thousandth of a second faster. Right. And it's like, who gives yeah. a crap? Right. Like, I mean, like you realize how long it would have taken to take build up the knowledge besides just doing it. Right. If you didn't so, see this cheat sheet, like, right. To figure now, that out. Now, here's the thing you are a new programmer in C. You can, you can feel tempted to come here and just copy the paste the code. And that's what many people do. They just copy right. paste. But the problem is what you're missing is as you what, don't know what's going right. on. What if something changes? As soon as something. Yeah doesn't work you're right. screwed like you don't know what else you're gonna do now from my perspective the code looks a little bit complicated but it isn't because uh there's two things that i'm doing here first i'm accessing the clipboard and <laughs> the clipboard here is so simple i just send the control c to copy text and i already have whatever is in the clipboard that's it and this is the text representation of the clipboard. If you need binary information, you could use yeah. the clipboard all, like clipboard all to access it. Yeah. That's it. You don't have to be uh, worrying about the format or whatever. I know that I'm accessing just the part that I need. I just need the text. Yeah, and, and, and you have on line nine there, you're waiting for it to you know, have right. some value. So I, yes, exactly. So I am, and this is something, First of all, two things that I do want to mention whenever you're, and I actually forgot to do that. Um, whenever you mess with the clipboard. Yes, I was save, gonna mention, let's make sure we add save, that, right? Yeah, so, this is so save, easy. always, right. So save yeah. the clipboard, yeah. the old yeah. clipboard, and I'm, I just go ahead and do- And it, and it looks like I think it is. Right. right. So I just copy the whole clipboard into my old clipboard yep. and then, when I finish, I just grab that old clipboard and put it back. So I, I, I do not, the reason why I was trying and the reason why I was reading about accessing whatever is copied or selected at the moment using Win32 APIs is because I didn't want to touch the clipboard, right? Oh. Because I knew that I was gonna do a lot of operations on it. So first of all, I send a control C. That's to check whether you have something double selected like this. So if you have something selected like this, as soon as you press the control C, I just copy that without spaces it, and right. do whatever I wanted to do. So yep. from my perspective, if you double select something and press the hotkey, that would be the best for you because yep. it is the fastest. Right. In any well, case, right. yeah. You, you might only even select part of a word, right? Right, you can yeah, select clip. Case. 
right? right. And well, it, that, it would it would still try to search for that. And, that, and that's yeah. my point is that's made all that you wanted. So yeah, exactly. So whatever you have that. selected right. is what I assume you want. So right. if you selected it, I assume you wanted it, right? So that's the fastest, the, the part of my script that runs the fastest. In any case, if there is nothing selected, that means that you have the, the, the caret in a word like this. Uh, so the script is going to decide what mm -hmm. you want. And that's the part that is kind of like tricky. That's what I'm doing here. So if the clipboard is empty, then just go ahead and I make sure that the clipboard is empty. That's the first thing. You might think that the clipboard is empty at that second, but a few milliseconds later, it might be that this clipboard contains something, right? Well, and if you don't do that, you can't watch the clipboard and wait for it to have data in the movie. Right. Forward. So now, now I did, I did have a clip wait up here, but it made the script too slow for for my taste. Hmm. So whenever you click, it was waiting for something, and if it was empty, it had to wait either one second, five hundred milliseconds, and I, I, and I said like, if I, I'm gonna set it to one hundred milliseconds, then I might as well just double check down here. It's the same thing. That's what happens. So in any case, I always, and this is a recommendation, whenever you are going to send a control C to copy up to the clipboard, make sure you empty the clipboard first. Right. Because your clip weight down here is going to fail if you already had something right. in it. Right. right. So if your clipboard contains something and you send yeah. Control C, it is going to say, like, I already have a something. And it's this... not. A lot of people get confused in that one, and I did when I first started using it. You think it's a change. Wait for the clipboard to change its value. No, no. It's just, it's, it's, it's just it's just yeah. checking if it, it has some value on it. So it might happen that this Control C is going to take 100 milliseconds, but by the time it reaches here, if it already had something, it's going to act as if that's what you wanted when it is not the fact. What you want it so in any case i just check for the leftmost character on your so if you're here i'm just moving one to the left copying whatever is in there and that's what i'm doing i'm just checking if you are at the beginning of a word in which case i'm going to have an empty thing or if i'm in the middle or at the end of a word that's what i'm checking where are you right now because depending on what you have right there i'm going to decide what i'm going to do so mm -hmm. depending if you're in the middle of the word, I'm going to send control left to go to the beginning of the word. The same is going to happen if I'm at the end of the word. I'm going to go there. But if I'm at the beginning of the word, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to jump anywhere. I'm going to stay there and just send control shift right to select the whole word. So that's what this whole thing is. It is kind of like a little bit daunting, but when you know what you're doing, like when you know yeah, if you are... If you are, if you have a left character, well, that means if I'm in the middle of a word or at the end of a word, if I grab something, I have to send something first before I copy the text. That's what I'm doing. So, so let's back up a step here because what I just realized also is we're, we're not even doing apples to oranges because you're doing more than what that script was doing, correct? That other script that you found the support for the in C or C sharp. Right, yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even doing these kind of checks, right? It was just no, no, no. It was just grabbing. So, so what he was doing is equivalent to saying "send Control C." That's what he was doing. The, the, the whole yeah. thing that he was talking about is just "send Control C" for us. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it is yeah. actually when you take a look at it, he's saying like, "How do I grab the text from the focused window?" Yeah, I just win active or you know just. Win active, H W N D. That's right. what he's saying to say, right? But right. I don't even need the this thing because the send control for us sends it to the active window already. Mm. So that's it. That this whole text that he's talking about in here about grabbing the current window and sending the the send input control C and then checking if the clipboard has something, dude. Send C um, if uh, in clip wait. That's it. That's for hilarious. us. Yeah. And that's why as soon as I read what he was talking about, I said, like, well, my solution is the one that I have to do. I didn't want to do it. That's that's the thing. I didn't want to access the clipboard that way. But right. yeah, that's the solution. Right. And yes, it's, 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 as you said, 
whatever you're seeing here, the code that you're seeing here, is longer than it's supposed to because it is doing some things. Right. That's that's actually checking right. where to copy. Right. In his script, he's not checking that. He's just copying, right? But in my case, I am making three decisions, whether you have something selected, whether you're at the middle end or beginning of a word. Those are the things that I'm checking. Now, scroll down to the bottom, please, here. So just to FYI, now, well, I'd like your thoughts, right? But um, between line like 39 and 40, this is where, where, where you're sending, oh, wait, you sent the paste. Anyway, if you restore the clipboard too early after pasting, sometimes you can, you can actually put back in the value that you were, you know, yes, original value. Yes. So I, I would have a little sleep, but you have a couple of the things in between those steps. So maybe right, it's not because, yeah. So there's a lot of things going on before I do that. That's the reason why I put it at the bottom. Um, so I, I just think when you press the hotkey, copy whatever you have, right. then at the end of whatever the F12 does, then restore the clipboard. Well, but where, now, where is the, yeah. So the, where is the oh because we did never mind we don't even paste so we, don't, we don't need it no we don't need to paste value. right we're setting the value so basically um so this part here this part here might be clipboard i just have to this stream clipboard right but See, probably, as i'm making right so yeah. as i'm making kind of like a selection of what is my search term yeah uh, it could be whatever i have here on the top or whatever it is so i'm using a variable for that and that's the reason why i don't have to chase right? yeah right. normally because i do a lot of this stuff with the clipboard but it's normally i'm sending a paste and then after i would try to restore the clipboard and that's where i'm like why am i getting you know the, the same other thing? thing yeah yeah, yeah. but oh, but I'm yeah asleep. like a 50 is works right <laughs> it's just a little right in right. this case um uh as soon as we have the search term, we're just going to a website, in this case, the auto hotkey uh, 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 help file. And how it's going to work is just wherever you are, it doesn't matter if it is selected or not, you just press the hotkey and it is going to open the reference. And not only is it going to open it, it's going to go to that page if it finds it, because it's going to do a search. So right. whatever you have, either double click select and hit the hot string. Um, and that's the funny thing. So it should activate the window for you. It's going to do the search. It's going to send it. And it's going to search for the most relevant one. And that's the cool thing. You also have other things yeah, that are related right. to it right next right. to it. Very cool. So that's that's the idea yeah. behind right. doing this search. Um, and again, if I just select part of the word, like clip, and I hit F12, it will grab the whole thing anyways. And this is um, actually a correction to what we were talking about, because it is if you are if you have something selected. Oh, hold on. It should have it grabbed clipboard completely. It, it expanded on it. Yeah. Right. But but this is something I just wanted right. to grab this yeah, thing. I saw it highlight everything when you did it. Yeah. Oh, because here we have something. OK, so no, I am sending a send input control C. So it should copy whatever is there, but it's not waiting for the clipboard. So. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens. Yeah. So if I add a, at least I didn't want to do that because of the little delay that it. Right. Uh, so I will show you what, what I meant. So if I have clip selected, I hit F12. This yeah. time, yes, it has yeah. clipped, right? So yeah. that works. But in the case that it is empty, it takes a little second for it to because actually answer. It. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I meant. And that's yeah. what I wanted to kind of like avoid. Sometimes it is doing this thing, but that's that's the part that I'm kind of like working out a little bit to see why it is doing those kind of things. But again, that's the part of things it it is it should wait. Um, oh yeah, I closed. <laughs> um, hold on. Can you pause in there? So. Okay. So. So in the end. Um, at the end, we know that there are some a little few details that we're going to take care of. Right. But in general, the concept is you have your mouse or uh, you have a word selected. You press a keyboard, and it's going to go ahead and take you to the uh, hotkey help file, which is basically extremely good, especially if you're 
in other editors. So right. here, editor. in, in, yeah. So so if you are here, you have the F1 hotkey hot that brings you to the help file. But there are some editors that don't have that. Or if you're in the forums and you don't oh. want to keep opening the help file, you know. Right. And imagine this. Let's say you're using Site or something, and sometimes you program in Python, sometimes you're in SQL, and sometimes you're in Auto Hotkey, and other times Perl. You could you could either a look at the extensions of the files possibly, or just assign a different hotkey to go to each of those things, right? To, to right. do a so lookup. Right. So we we would actually basically as soon as long as we have access to the documentation, whether it is on. Right. Uh, 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 online or offline and that's one thing that i would might i might 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 try to do is using the local file instead to see right. how that works but if it is a local a documentation we could very easily just swap this for whatever documentation you're looking for at the moment and for, depending on hotkeys or depending on other things you can just go ahead and change the code a little bit because in this case the selector where i right. put the the search it's like this. In the case of Auto Hotkey, it is because that's a, a JavaScript search, right? But if it is a, a site like, say, for example, Stack Overflow, that you have a right. URL, right. you have a right. URL query, right? right? Then you don't need to do this query selector stuff, right? right. You just you send the link, right. you, you just yeah. pass the query, usually in the form of S, you know, so question mark S equals whatever, right. and then here the search term. Usually, just with that, you already the Google search is maybe is like that. It might be a Q instead of an S. Yeah, I think it is. Right. Right. So, so, so for for Google, it's very simple. But for any website that you can pass a search query in the URL, right. You don't have to do all these down here. I'm doing this because in 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 Auto Hotkey is basically a a, a JavaScript search, and that's what. Oh, well, and you know, specifically, we're tying it to the documentation, right? Right. So right. But we, we could, could we could generalize this for a, a, any kind of search, right? Yeah, which we the, probably the, will the, for, for some other stuff we're doing. Yeah, so basically the, the, the main complicated part, complicated, and, and you can see that still has some bugs, right? That's Those are the little bugs that make it complicated. But basically the most complicated part is figuring out what the search term is correctly and reliably, right? right? right. Because as you can see, yeah, I have it. I could do it, but what happens sometimes? It grabs the whole line. I don't want to grab the whole line. What if I want to just select a part of it? Yeah, those kind of little situations is what make it complicated. But after that, it's very simple to make searches. Awesome, man. Thank you. You're welcome.